Apparently, there are 7 million working age men in the United States of America that aren't working and they're not looking for work. This is what my grow from Dirty Jobs is going around doing interviews telling people 11 million jobs to fill for qualified or even entry level positions in the trade. 7 million guys holding down the couch somewhere. I can't wrap my head around it. Maybe you can help me out. If you're not working and you're not looking for work, that can only lead me to draw one conclusion. You are being a drain on somebody. Whether it's society as a whole and you're drawing some sort of supplemental income that's provided by the rest of the fellas that decided to go to work or you're just living on your girlfriend's couch drawing down her student loan or whatever your scenario might be, I'm certain that there's a couple of them living in their mom and dad's basement ruining their retirement. None of this seems good to me. And I'm inclined to believe that the country that I live in, Canada, the situation is not only similar, but probably much worse. Our population is a fraction uh, of that of the United States. So what does this lead to? I mean, in my mind, it'll, it's going to lead to a lot of unhappy folks. I mean, you got 7 million guys in their prime working age not doing anything. No skill development, no contribution, no direction, no goal. You're going to end up with a very large group of men that are very unhappy. Because that's sitting on the couch, playing a video game, and eating out and skip the dishes doing all your hunter-gatherer activities for you, that will lead to no fulfillment later in life. You will reflect and be disappointed. Say you have kids and grandkids, they're not, they're not gonna have any stories to tell about these guys. There, you'll be nothing, there'll be nothing there, no, nothing tangible. Oh, this person existed, breathed oxygen, drifts off into the abyss of nothing. I'm not saying everyone's set to do great things, but it feels good to do something and um, I can only imagine that out of those 7 million people and whatever the number is here in Canada that the screen time that's being spent because that was the all that was the explanation well if you're not working you're not looking for work they described it as a lack of will as the problem well, what are you doing Screen time was the answer. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of them that are doing other things, but screen time, the equivalent of a full-time job being spent on a screen of some sort. Now, I know I've become guilty of that, and a lot more so recently since starting doing the YouTube stuff. The screen time draws you in, especially if you are doing something that in a roundabout way is constructive. You're, you're, you're creating online content, or if you're a gamer of some sort, that becomes important to you, and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're managing your time and fulfilling your roles in your household or whatever that might be properly, not just being a slug. So it's a cause for concern. It also makes me think that out of those 7 million people that it is not a limited problem. Those people, at least a fraction of these men, they learn that from somebody. They had at some point, maybe they're not around, they had parents, they had grandparents, they maybe, maybe they had a community around them, maybe they didn't. But I'm saying that the problem stems from more than just this group of people. I mean, they're now not working, they're gonna teach that to somebody, and on we go, the, the outcome's not good. I mean, you know, consider this, I'll, I'll leave it with this, the way I thought about it when I finished watching the interview with Mike Rowe. You got a bunch of people in an apartment building, they're busy playing video games, and, and say 25, 30% of the men in that small community, they haven't left to go to work in months. They don't, they don't work, they're leeching off somebody. The power goes out, or the water goes out in that building. Well, they're gonna be upset, just like everyone. And their expectation is that somebody somewhere, a man or a woman, is gonna suit up and they're gonna fix this problem for them. Turn my power back on, turn the water back on. It's disrupting my life. Well, what if there's no one there to do that? What if that role hasn't been filled where they live? No one taught someone the knowledge 
of the guys before them. And they said, well, we can't turn it back on. We can't fix your building. We don't have anybody available. We can't get there for six weeks, six months, a year, never. I don't think it'll cause any reflection on the part of these folks that chose to do nothing, but um, it could be very well be the, the case. You know, a bunch of people sitting in the dark wondering what happened. I don't know if any of this makes sense. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna go back to cutting firewood. Uh, I got a pretty good grip on things at my own household. And uh, that's, where, that's where all of us should start. You start in your own circle and we got things dialed in, work your way out and uh, help people if you can. But thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next adventure.